83 and today's scientist is Michael Faraday. Michael Faraday was a British chemist and physicist who is known as the father of electricity, contributed significantly to the study of electromagnetism and electrochemistry. Faraday is proclaimed as one of the greatest scientists in the world. Michael Faraday was born in 1791 in Newington, England. He left school when he was 13. When he was 14, he became an apprentice to a book binder and bookseller. One of the books he found himself regularly binding was the Encyclopedia Britannica. When he was 20, Faraday began lecturing at the Royal Institution. His lectures were dramatic and enlightening. During the initial years of his scientific work, Faraday occupied himself mainly with chemical problems. He discovered two new chlorides of carbon and succeeded in liquefying chlorine and other gases. He isolated benzene in 1825, the year in which he was appointed as the director of the laboratory. Faraday was the first scientist to recognize that a magnetic field could produce a current. His greatest achievement was the idea of the magnet and electric lines of force causing a current to flow in the wire while the magnet is moving, which is called electromagnetic induction based on Faraday's laws of electrolysis. Faraday's discoveries of magnetic lines of force and electric lines of force were the impetus for the emergence of electronics which has given us the television, telephone, fax machine and radio. Faraday's Laws First Law It states that whenever there is a change in magnetic flux associated with a coil, EMF is induced in that coil. Second Law It states that the magnitude of EMF induced in the coil is directly proportional to the rate of change of magnetic flux associated with that coil. Faraday is also credited with the invention of a primitive electric motor. This motor was the first device that used an electric current to make an object move. The nature of industries and manufacture were changed by Faraday's laws of electrolysis. His experiments on the chemical effect of electric current are the basis of electrochemistry. He gave his name to the Farad, originally describing a unit of electrical charge, but later a unit of electrical capacitance. However, in the early 1840s, Faraday's health began to deteriorate and he did less research. In 1867, on 25 August, Faraday died in his home study at Hampton Court. Now it's quiz time. Today's question is, who is known as the father of electricity? Stay tuned, keep watching, thank you.